So you're trying to figure out how to install Parallels on your desktop or wineskin, whatever you might need to do in order to access ZimRider. Uh, this applies even if you aren't looking for ZimRider, but you're just trying to get Windows on your desktop. I'm going to walk you through how to get that set up and ultimately how to use ZimRider on a Mac. Now, it's important to note there are two options. One is a paid option, which we'll go through first. The reason why I'm going through it first is that it is the most secure option and likely going to be the most user friendly for those who are not technically advanced. The other option is free, does introduce some vulnerabilities into your computer. If you have a uh, antivirus software, it might block it or might prevent it from downloading things like that. So Parallels is going to probably be for the majority of people, but you can go ahead and skip ahead to Wineskin if you want the free option, but I'm going to go through Parallels right now. In order to get to this website, please use the link below. That's an affiliate link. That's where I get paid a little bit of money if you do purchase the product. That just helps me continue to support this channel so I continue to make videos that are helpful for you. So once you go to that, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Right now, I'm just gonna download that free trial so you can too, and then you can go ahead and purchase it if you find it a good fit for you. So what we have, we have the options right here. And I'm going to do download free trial. And that is going to give me a screen in the bottom down here. So it gives me the instructions right away, which is super helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with download parallels for desktop. I'm going to input, just go to installer, and it's going to look like this. So I'm going to go side by side with this so you can see. But I went ahead, whenever that popped up at the bottom, I'm using Chrome, went ahead and opened that up. And then I get this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click that button that starts the installer. Go ahead and click open, do okay. Now make sure you read through these agreements I already have, so that way I can go through this a little bit quicker. So that's gonna go ahead and download. And this is telling us right here, what that's going to look like. So we've got about 10 seconds left. At some at moments, I may pause the video whenever we are waiting and come back to it whenever it is a, a more convenient time. So that way you don't have to wait for it. So now it's one of those times. Now, at this point, you're going to need to enter your username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter mine in. It's going to keep installing. Awesome, so then we're gonna go ahead and give it permissions. Say okay, 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 finish. And we're gonna go ahead and hit install Windows. So it says, it says 22 minutes. We'll go ahead and come back whenever that 22 minutes is done. Okay, so after all that, it's gonna reboot a couple of times, minus you for some permissions, but you're gonna get this installation complete box, in which you're gonna click anywhere to continue. And you're gonna go ahead and add in your information as far as signing up for this. I'll go ahead and do that, but I'm gonna pause now, so that way you don't see my information, but go ahead and fill out yours as well. After you fill out your information, you're gonna get a box that says important information. Please read the terms of use, privacy policy, et cetera, before continuing. And then again, read through all of this before you click I accept. Again, you're gonna have another agreement. Go ahead and click accept. And then you have installation finished, awesome. Now we're gonna go to ranking tactics. We're going to go to help and go ahead and watch his video here on how to get onboarded and then click the download in order to download the latest version. I'm not going to go through that just because he's already got that set up for you. I'm just trying to get you to this point on a Mac. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to go with the other option as well where there's wine skin. So I'm going to walk through those right now. Okay, so now to get you all set up with Wineskin, what you need to do, there is a guide in the Facebook group. I'll go ahead and put a link to that in the description and below as well, but you'll follow through that as far as how to install ZimRider on Mac OS. 
But what they're going to ask you to do is you're going to have to go to brew.sh, which is right here. And you're going to have to copy this command right here. So if you hit that button, it's going to copy it. Then we're going to have to paste it into terminal. It's going to ask you for your password. And then it's going to go ahead and try to install those. You're going to hit enter to continue. And then at a certain point, it's going to ask you to copy and paste some commands. Okay, so once everything gets installed, it's going to look something like this. And so we're going to have to run eval right here. And then I don't have to run the echo command. So we should be good to go at this point. Now, if we go back to the lines on that website or the guide that we're following, we need to install wineskin at this third step right here. This only has to be done once. As you update, you are going to have to install new wrappers, which we'll go through in a second. But we'll paste that brew install right here. And then after that gets done, we're going to open up Wineskin Winery in the Launchpad or the Application folder. So it's still downloading, it's working on that. But whenever that gets all done, we'll go ahead and come back. Okay, so now that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and launch Wineskin Winery. So hit Launchpad, open that up. Yours will look not like quite like this. I've already got mine set up, but you probably won't have anything in here. So I'll go ahead and delete both of those just so you can see. But I'm gonna install a new one. Go ahead and hit download and install. So this is the plus add engine from the drop down box. We're gonna choose the latest one, click download and install. And that's gonna take a second to install. We'll come back when that's all done. Awesome, so that's all done. And we're gonna look at this screen now. The next step that it says, once it's done, we need to download that file that we need that 6.551 at this point. I already have that downloaded, but that's going to be on the ranking tactics and the get help page, Zim Rider help. And that's going to be right here for the latest version. I'll have a link in that description below as well. So once we do that, I'm going to come back here, go ahead and close this because we're all done there. Wine skin. So what it's going to ask us to do next is we're going to create that app for the Mac. We're going to have to do create new blank wrapper, and I'm going to call this Zimrider 6.551. Then do OK. The reason I did 6.551 is because it's, we're gonna have to keep updating it, add new ones, and so instead of uninstalling it or changing names, I just make sure that I have the newest one available. Now that's gonna take a few minutes, but once it does get done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring us back. Okay, so now that it's done, we need to go ahead and click, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the view wrapper in the finder. What it does is it does show us where this new one is. Again, I have a few copies right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that newest one. Whenever you click it, you're going to do install software. And then you're going to have a few options. I always like to click copy just because I want to make sure that all the files are there. Sometimes I have issues with the move a folder. So I just use copy folder inside. And that's what we have here too, is we're going to have to copy folder inside and then find where we extracted that Zimwriter folder. So in order to choose that, I'm going to go to my downloads folder going to be in the downloads. It's a Z, so it's going to be towards the bottom. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and click choose. Now it's going to give me a few options. And even on this, it says click that start where it ends in start underscore 64 bit is going to be the bottom option right here and click. OK. Once it's done, you're going to go ahead and press press quit. Now, the next step is just going to be opening that app. This might take a few minutes the first time you do it. I'm going to go ahead and click it now. And it's gonna look like it's frozen. Be patient, it's gonna come up in a second. But once it does come up, it's gonna look something like this, where we need to initialize a few things. Go ahead and click OK. And then it's gonna ask you to enter your API key. Go ahead and enter this information, enter your 
OpenAI key, your SimWriter key, everything like that. I'm not gonna walk through that again just because I wanna get you that point, but hopefully this helped you guys figure out how to install SimWriter on a Mac. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Um, check out my other videos on how to build a blog in a weekend because ZimWriter is super helpful as far as building out those posts. It can do up to a thousand in the bulk writer and I'm sure it's gonna get better in the future. Please click on my links as you guys are building this process. Any link that you click and purchase from, it's gonna give me a commission. That's gonna be super helpful to continue to support me and this channel to build videos and blogs in order to help you.